For four years, many people in the northern part of South Sudan have not cultivated due to flooding. We're going to begin piloting measures that could enable adaptation because with climate change, we have to appreciate that there are going to be certain moments when what we plant is not going to come through. Many here were depending on food imports from Sudan. However, from mid-April this year, violence broke out in Sudan and now, instead of food supplies coming into South Sudan, it is those fleeing violence that are arriving. The suffering here is beyond anyone's imagination. No food, no water, no place to sleep. We sleep on the streets. We can be beaten by gangs. No respect for women or pregnant mother. The United Nations Refugee Agency or UNHCR says more than 100,000 people have now crossed to South Sudan from Sudan. Many of them were South Sudanese people who were living in Sudan. The United Nations says the price of essential items has significantly increased in areas where those arriving from Sudan are temporarily settled in South Sudan. It further says South Sudan will need continued support and funding to not only address their ongoing humanitarian crisis, but to meet the needs of people fleeing war in Sudan. Uh, the government of South Sudan has made important pledges and promises to ensure the inclusion of refugees uh, in granting land, promoting skills for refugees, trying to open a space for refugees and IDPs to uh, uh, you know, uh, have options for solutions. And so uh, this is a very uh, important step for South Sudan. And South Sudan is being promoted as an example. However, flooding has led to an increase in the number of cases of intercommunal violence as cattle keepers and farmers clash over land. Patrick Oyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.